talk of a werewolf is pure hogwash. But what about that nephew of yours you found digging up your garden and chewing on your slippers? Well, he said all the kids are wearing flea collars nowadays. I've been thinking of getting my navel pierced. You don't say. You know, Becky, if a werewolf was attacking you, I'd help. Oh, Rob, that's so romantic. Mm. Please! It's our first date that I'm not that kind of ghoul. <laughs> Call me the name Stretch. I'm in the book. Good evening. This film was shot in smell -o vision and we want to make sure you get the full effect. <laughs> oh, there's no need to thank me. Stinky's the name, and I'm glad to be of service. Thanks for the popcorn! that batch myself, and, uh, <laughs> let's just say it ain't exactly, uh, butter. Excuse me, have you seen my uncles? I don't get paid enough to see nothing, kid. You want to go in and look, you gotta buy a ticket. I don't have any money on me. Can I owe you? I'm pretty sure they're inside. Look, I am telling you for the last time. Okay, the stereotypical thing to do now would be to yell, a ghost, and run away screaming. But come on, that's so been done. A, 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 a ghost! Ah! <sighs> This never happened to Patrick Swayze. trying to stop you from terrifying the town. That's the problem. You should be helping us. Yeah, you just ain't a team player, Casper. With us, it's one for all and all for one. There ain't nothing breaking up this trio. That's 
right, it's me in my mighty ghost car. Officer Snivel, enforcer of all ectoplasmic law. Feel free to view me with respect and or fear. <laughs> it's just Snivel. Officer Snivel, if you don't mind. <clears throat> now, you've broken section 324, subsection B of the spectral code. Oh, you hear that, boys? We broke the law. Ooh, I'm shrieking. <laughs> <laughs> what you gonna do about it, <laughs> officer? Run us in. Oh, hey, hey, that's my car! I only have two payments left! Here you go. Thanks, but... Oh, Christmas, right, guys? We shouldn't take a guy's car. Oh, that just ain't right. Got your whistle! In the back! <laughs> no! Hey, you hear that? I don't hear anything. That's what I mean. Okay, this is not a good thing. I was sent to get you, Casper. Me? But I didn't do anything. That's the problem. Your scare quota is way down. I scare people all the time. But you don't mean to. So it doesn't count. You didn't even scare on Halloween. You stayed home and rented Free Willy 3. <laughs> I told you that wasn't me who left that there. According to ghost law, you must purposely scare at least one person a year. And if I don't? A good question! If Casper doesn't scare someone, let's see what he'll win! Where am I? This is the dark. The place where time and space are nothing. An empty, desolate prison where you will dwell for all eternity. <laughs> Why not? Hey, that's not fair. Silence! Yes, fun for the whole family. Here you will stay for all eternity. Casper will never make another friend, and you three will have only yourselves to scare. Ah! 
This will be, unless Casper lives up to his ghostly obligations and scares someone. Okay, okay. The kid will scare someone. No problem. We promise. We'll make sure he does. Oh, <laughs> I know you will. Until Casper scares someone, you three have your haunting licenses <gasps> revoked. You have until Christmas Day. Well, this gets worse and worse. Hey, why do we lose our licenses when it's little big head here that messed up? Because as his uncles, you are responsible for him. Also, I just don't like you. Have a nice trip. Trip? Until Casper scares someone, you are all banished to Chris, Massachusetts. The most Christmassy town in the world. But we hate Christmas! <laughs> I know. Noel, sweetie, could you pass the mistletoe? In two shakes of a reindeer's tail, Carol. Now, Holly, how about something a little more Christmassy? <sighs> there you go, honey. That'll put some jingle in your bell. We really need a Christmas tree in every room of the house. Oh, well, you know what they say. You can never have too much Christmas. Who says that? We, we do. do. I need a little privacy. That's it. I'm out of here. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. I hear one more person say, Merry Christmas. Say you know well. Feliz Navidad. Merry Christmas, Holly. Oh, Merry Christmas, y'all. Building and load. Oh, Merry Christmas, y'all. Lampos. <sighs> Merry Christmas, everybody. Well, look on the bright side. Can't stay winter forever. Summer comes, they'll at least have to take down the mistletoe, right? Right? Okay, I'm talking to a snowman. I've officially snapped. Having no friends and overdosing on hot apple cider has combined to drive me insane. <gasps> Four shooting stars? Starlight, star bright. First star I see tonight. I wish I may. I wish I might. Get out of the way in time! <laughs> Casper just did a major face plant in the snow! I guess that big head of his has a lot of wind resistance. <laughs> yeah! He's a real drag! <laughs> <gasps> it's... it's 
Bats. Oh, no, not again. A talking snowman? Oh, that's a new one. Would you be scared of a talking snowman? Never had to deal with one before. But offhand, unless you're made of yellow snow, I'd say no. Then, yep, that's what I am, all right. This is just great. Like my life wasn't one big Christmas special anyway. Whoa, this place does look like a TV special. Cool. Cool? You're not the one who has to live in it 24-7. Um, my name's Casper. Wait, I made you. Don't I get to name you? Oh, right, because I'm a snowman. What do you want to call me? Hmm, Casper. I'm Holly. Holly Jollymore. Wow, your name's really... I know, I know. I sound like a Christmas carol. It reaches new levels of lameness. Oh, I've heard worse. Like? Fatso? Stinky? Well, how would you like it if it was your name? Holly Jollymore, the friendly ghost, the friendliest ghost you know. Wouldn't really work for me. Exactly. My parents make Christmas decorations, so we all had to pack up and move here to Christmas Central. Sure, I'll leave all my friends behind. It's not like I have a life or anything. Look at this. Whoa! Your folks designed that? It's so embarrassing. I bet your family isn't this humiliating. Oh, you have no idea. Holly, we're off to the theater. Are you coming? See what I mean? I have to help with this dumb Christmas play. Can I come? Wouldn't you melt in the theater under hot lights? Right, melt. Good call. Can we hang out when you get back? Sure, later. <laughs> now I'm gonna have that song stuck in my head all day. Wanted. But we can't scare people. We ain't got our haunting licenses. Hey, let's check it out. Once we get Casper to scare someone, <laughs> it'll be good to have a gig waiting for us. And uh, <clears throat> after all, we would not think of scaring anyone without our licenses, would we? Okay. Leave me be, dreadful ghost. Boo! Wow, they even supply a guy for you to scare. What a sweet deal. Not bad, Nick! Hey, guys, this is just practicing for a play. It's all fake. We're the only real ghosts here. This is an insult. If they want to see scary, we'll show them scary. enough as ghosts. But, but, we really are ghosts. <laughs> oh, you method actors. 
Such dedication! Oh, I'm in character, too! <clears throat> I'm not really Scrooge. Really? This is Noel Jollimore, the star of the play. And this is my wife, Carol, the play's director, and our daughter, Holly. Here under protest. You know, on our first day in Chris, Noel and I went door to door and personally gave everyone in town a home-baked Christmas cookie. And a good look at a couple of fruitcakes. But I don't remember meeting you three. We just got here today. Gosh, the whole town is booked up. There's, there's no room at the inn. I know, you can come stay with us. Oh, we insist. Putting up needy travelers during the holiday season is what the spirit of Christmas is all about. And you're the neediest. Oh, no offense, but until you improve your act, you'll never get a job playing ghosts. But we are ghosts! See? <laughs> oh, that's it. Keep a positive attitude. <clears throat> hey, too bad about that lame audition. Yeah, better luck next time. Uh, maybe a workshop or two would help. Now, let's get you ghosts to our house and we'll scare you up a room. <laughs> <laughs> for a sec. Forget to wash your hands, honey? Oh, dry the new pine-scented soap we bought. Yeah, that's just what this house needs. More pine. Um, do you have company? Just some lame actors my mom and dad invited to stay with us. We're having our usual breakfast, a full roast turkey dinner. It smells great. I'd invite you in, except for your heat intolerance deal. Oh, right. Nothing more embarrassing than wetting the chair during dinner. Here's some ice cream. Hurry up, Holly. I'm carving. See you later. But those go. <laughs> my, my. It's nice to see such healthy appetites. Well, without your health, where are you? So, how do you do those amazing special effects? Now, Carol, maybe they're not allowed to tell us. You know how secret these Hollywood types are with their new technology. <laughs> yeah, it's all a trade secret. <laughs> so, uh, what's with all the trees? You guys got a dog with a lazy bladder or something? <laughs> it's for Christmas. <laughs> oh, that. What's the big deal? Oh, what isn't wonderful about Christmas? We love the decorations. And we love exchanging presents. But most of all, we love the way it brings your friends together. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> it's not fair. Why do they get a nice family meal? Well, maybe if you hadn't lied to her, you'd be in there too, you big jerk. Okay, now you're talking to yourself. You've got to tell her the truth. Remember back when you were a Boy Scout? The oath you took? A Scout is honest. But what if she's scared of me? So you're just gonna keep lying? What kind of friend does that? Uh, I'll work up to it. Tell her when the time is right. What? <laughs> That stuffing looks good. Think they use real chestnuts? You know what's good? A little sage and roasted garlic blended in. Mmm. I gotta pull myself together. Ugh! Coconut! Is that the end of the food? I think so, yes. I 
I've never seen anyone eat so much. Now, Holly, don't be rude. Sorry. Hey, it's about time someone was rude. All these table manners were giving me gas. <laughs> We could just sneak out and pull one little scare. No one will ever find out. Whoa! What is going on down there? Even I don't get gas that bad. That's not gas! I'm getting a message on my laptop. You and your gadgets. <laughs> hey! I got email! I'll connect to the World Weird Web and check it. I'm checking up on you three expectors. You deadbeats better be following my no scaring order. Yes, sir. Yeah, no scaring here, sir. Oh, and this message comes with an attachment. Snivel here will keep his eye on you three and report back to me. <laughs> I'll let you know if that miserable excuse for a ghost manages to scare anybody, sir. And he better hurry. You're running out of time. Oh, Casper will scare somebody any time now. Then we get a haunting licenses back, right? You are counting on Casper to save your sheets? <laughs> The next time we meet, I may reinstate you. Or disintegrate you. And remember, be afraid of the dark. not count if you apologize for it. It does not count if you scare yourself. Die. Casper, you are hopeless. Sorry. I tried. We're all going to end up alone in the dark. Oh, what a shame. Why, I ought to... Uh, 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 don't make me call Kabosh. <laughs> That's more like it. Spy, I hate being under that little runt's thumb. You three really like wearing those ghost costumes. To welcome you into our home, we brought you some figgy pudding. What's that? Hmm, we're not really sure. No one is. But it's very Christmassy, and that's good enough for us. A few more shocking days till Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
We are toast if Casper doesn't scare someone quick. But when it comes to scaring, Casper sucks worse than Fatso. Too bad we couldn't turn Casper into a different ghost. Mm. Or turn a different ghost into Casper. Like our nephew, Spooky. He looks like his cousin, Casper. That little guy's not a bad scarer, either. Hey, there's a picture of him right here in the Ghost Academy Fear Book. Yeah. Who's the hat? And the freckles, and you got a good Casper. I mean, a bad Casper. So we've got a plan. We get him to come here and impersonate Casper, then... Snivel sees him scare the stink out of someone, then... We have to share a figgy pudding with him? We have to share a figgy... No! We get our hunting licenses back and avoid being left in the dark. Hey, look! The fear book gives his number in New York City. I'll call him on my smell you the phone. <laughs> way down there. They look like uh, ants. Oh, Spooky. I'm sure there's a couple of uncles, too. And cousins and grandmothers and sisters and... What do you want? Oh, I'm honored you guys are calling. It's the ghostly trio. My heroes. Hey, say, uh, how'd you like to come out to Chris, Massachusetts and uh, do some scaring for us? You guys want me to join your group? You're exactly what we need. No one else could do it but you. We'd love to have you. Yeah, and we're not lying because we're desperate or not. <laughs> this is the all-time best break I ever got. My chance to be part of the Scream Team. Uh, but, uh, I'll have to think about it. I'll get back to you. How can you even think about leaving New York? It's a heck of a town. The Bronx is up. But the battery's down. So is assault, muggins, and poison snatching. I need more scaring opportunities. This offer to join the ghostly trio is my shot at the big leagues. Oh, I ain't so sure. Poyle, I'm putting my foot down. We're going to Chris Mass. As long as that's okay with you. Eh? <laughs> You were right. Those actors are weird. They didn't scare you, did they? Well, I'm into weird. Halloween. Now there's a good holiday. Funny you should mention Halloween because... What? What? How come there's no... I can explain. The truth is... Of course. You're a snowman, so you don't leave an impression in the snow. Yeah, sure. That sounds good. Ooh, that does it. You're in for it now. <laughs> you are so dead! <laughs> Rah! Ah! <gasps> you hear that? Sounds like Casper's really scaring her. Maybe we don't need Spooky around here after all. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it was too good to be true. If you want something done right, you gotta do it yourself. Or trick someone else into doing it and then tell them to hit the road. So Spooky ain't joining us? You want that we should be the ghostly quartet? Nah, too hard to spell. Once Spooky gets us out of here, we give him the boot. <laughs> <laughs> Say it! You 
are the official snowball champion of the universe. All hail. <laughs> oh, it's great hanging out with someone normal. <laughs> Never been called that before. Keep them compliments a coming. I'm serious. This time of year, my folks won't leave me alone. They always want me to be involved in everything they do. Oh, yeah. Sounds like a drag. Can I tell you a secret? Cross your heart and hope to die. Done and done. I kind of like one thing about the holidays. Making your own cards. I'm making one for you. Really? Cool. But if you tell anyone what I said about liking Christmas, you'll get such a snow pounding. Okay, okay, it's a secret. You know, Casper, I really feel like I can trust you. Trust is good. Trust and honesty and stuff. Listen, I... Sorry, gotta go. Later! But I... So, tell her when the time is right, huh? Ah, shut up. from the ghost office. Must be a dead letter. Hmm, it's from New York City. New York City? <clears throat> Say, Snivel, I just heard there's a Pauly Shore Film Festival playing downtown. Uh, uh, I'm there. <laughs> I wanted to make an entrance with class. Yeah, third class. Spooky was too cheap to spring for the extra stamp. You always want to travel by scare mail. I like having someone else do the flying for me every now and then. <clears throat> I'm here to join up. What do you need? Well, let's see. First, we need you to lose that stupid <laughs> hat. My doybee! <laughs> Don't sweat it! But that's the spooky trademark! Well, we're not looking for a spooky type, more a Casper type. <clears throat> Time for the top secret initiation. That's nice. Yeah, very hush hush. Oh, makes sense. No outsiders allowed. <laughs> I could take a hint. A house down here to fall on me. See you later, Spooky. Trio, right? Oh, yeah, sure. <laughs> we'll treat you like one of the family.
Hey, we're glad you're back, Snivel. Casper's ready to try scaring again. You'll be amazed. He's a whole new ghost. That's a... Uh, <clears throat> that's right. I'm Casper the Frenzied Ghost. Hey! <laughs> oh, I'm getting jiggy with it now. He didn't look scared to me. We are never, never gonna talk about this incident ever again. Christmas cookies. Do you like scary cookies? I don't think Christmas cookies are very scary. <laughs> I guess Halloween cookies might be. Do I scare you? No, no, you sound nice. Don't you hang up on me! Heavens! I would never hang up on someone. Oh, 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 let me give you the recipe. You take three cups of oatmeal, half a cup of butter, one cup of chocolate. Yeah. Bye then. Merry Christmas. Oh, goodness me, I'm out of salt. This calls for the hands on approach. Yikes! I'm half naked! La -da -da, da -da -da. Oh, she looked real scared. Spooky, are you in here? I'm in the bowl. No. You were supposed to scare her. What happened? I got the uh, mixed up. <laughs> She looks sweet and innocent. This scare will be easy. <laughs> Hi, Casper. <laughs> You're supposed to scream. Don't you think I'm scary? No. Why would anyone think that? <laughs> Jeez, I don't get it. He can't even scare a little girl. I thought you said Casper had his scary act together. He is as lame as usual. What a letdown. Let's get out of here. Oh, this is a nightmare. And not the good kind. Are you okay? Look. I can take not being scary, but I don't want your pity. <laughs> okay, obviously you're working through some issues, but I've got a surprise for you. Who cares? Huh? Buzz off, toots. I ain't in the mood. Are you kidding? Because this isn't funny. You're telling me. 
I'm sick of you and your whole crazy family. They ain't normal. Hey, they're my family, and I love them. Well, someone has to. You're all jokes. Well, then I won't bother you anymore. Hmm, touchy. Hi, Holly. Here's your Christmas card. Hey, why'd you do that? I guess it was just the kind of thing a joik would do. Holly! Leave me alone! Hiya, sweetie! Poil? Oh, your uncles weren't kidding. You're a pretty good Casper. Gee, thanks. I try my best. What are you doing here in Chris? Oh, mostly getting bored in this dinky town. I want to go back to New York. Uh, okay. Uh, ain't you coming with me? Uh, no, but thanks for the offer. I have to stay here and find out what's wrong with Holly. Holly? Who's Holly? She's this really nice girl I met. We get along great. Except now, she's mad at me for some reason. Yeah? Well, she ain't the only one. The ignoring me was bad enough, but now you're two-timing me? I can't even stand to look at your dopey mouth, you big jerk! <laughs> While it's noggy. <laughs> I'll have some later. Oh, is something wrong, honey? It's not important. I don't want to ruin your Christmas. Holly, look at me. Your father and I love Christmas, that's true. And maybe we go too far sometimes. But, but you always come first, always. It's just a friend of mine. At least I thought this was my friend. All of a sudden is a real jerk. I just don't get it. Well, maybe your friend is having trouble at home. Sometimes a jerk is just someone who doesn't know how to say what they really feel. Okay. I'll give him another chance. That's my him. This is a boy? Noel? We'd like to meet him sometime. The eggnog is there if you want it. It'll help you sleep. Unless you suddenly become lactose intolerant, and then there'll be painful cramps and bloating. Nighty night. <laughs> I need to tell you. 
Why were you being such a loser before? When? When you yelled at me. What are you talking about? Okay, forget it. I was trying to talk and find out what your problem is. Maybe help you with it. That's what friends do. I just wanted you to tell me the truth. Okay, you want the truth? Here it is. But you're not gonna like it and you won't want to be my friend anymore. Casper, you shouldn't have climbed up my window. It's too dangerous. But how are you doing that? Since when can snowmen fly? I'm not a snowman. I told a big stupid lie because I wanted you to be my friend. I'm a ghost. A ghost? A ghost. You know, a member of the living impaired. You trusted me and I let you down. I let everybody down. I'm sorry, Holly. Goodbye. Aha! Uh -huh. There you are, trying to hide from me. Never! We were just admiring the nice, scary expression on this Santa. Yeah! Hey, come over and take a closer look. Oh, oh, oh. the way, I reversed the motor on Santa's pipe. It's a very powerful vacuum now, so be careful. Hey, you tripped me! Yeah, and you got sucked in. Get it? <laughs> oh, we'll come back and let you out <laughs> in a couple of years. <laughs> come back! Let me out of here. Okay. You asked for it. There. D did you hear that? No, because it's really loud in here. Let me hear that recording one more time. Oh, what isn't wonderful about Christmas? We love the decorations. And we love exchanging presents. But most of all, we love the way it brings your friends together. Hey, that sounded good. <laughs> okay, I've played the list and checked it twice. It's Christmas Eve. We have to think of an idea quick. Oh, uh, we'll come up with some way to ruin Christmas in the nick of time. That's it. Nick, like in Saint Nick. Then the horrible trio got a nasty idea. Those mean-spirited spooks had a foul, evil idea. Every person in Chris liked Christmas a lot, but the trio, the ghostly trio, did not. Perhaps his fat head was not stuck on quite right. It could be, perhaps, that their sheets were too tight. But I think that the most likely reason of all may have been that they were jerks. <laughs> That's it for the lights. We've unpacked every hall. I think that the chimney's three sides is too small. With a twist and a shimmy, he slid like a snake. He stole the roast beast and even the cake. Hey, guys! He exclaimed, Did someone say cake? 
than Fatso did turn with a twist of his head and saw a young child who had risen from bed. A wide-eyed young tyke dressed in Christmassy red. Hey, you just scared someone. You broke Kabasha's order. Eh, so what? <laughs> Snivel ain't here to snitch on us. We can do whatever we want. Oh, yeah. What Kabash don't know won't hurt him. Or us. Unsticking their fingers up into their nose, up, 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 up the chimney they rose. <laughs> The whole town will have to come here to get their presents that the Jolly Moors stole. <laughs> yeah, so much for those friendships. And when they get here, we'll make sure they have a few nasty surprises. Topped off with watching the presents get blown up with my specially made time boomb. Time boomb? Like a time bomb, but even scarier. It'll blow them up real good. Gentlemen, <laughs> to a Christmas well ruined. That just ain't right. Excuse me. I'm all for scaring the rubes, but you guys have gone too far. This ain't even scaring anymore. It's just being mean. Big talk from the spook who couldn't even scare a fly. Hey, I can scare plenty good, but not looking like this. Just let me be myself. Get this through your thick head. We don't want you to be you! Yeah, we barely even want you to be Casper. But I, I thought I was gonna join you guys. The ghostly trio and Spooky, the tough little ghost. Oh, well, guess what? You... Thought wrong! Now beat it, Pipsqueak! Come back when you can scare a kitten. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> I'll show them who can scare a kitten. started my heart beating again. I still got it. You hear that, Wild? I'm back! So, how you doing, Casper? What's with the makeover? Why would you want to dress up like me? I'm a loser. I've ruined everything. Hang on, I'll fill you in. But first, let me get my goyle here. Maybe we can get each other out of the doghouse. Hey, Boyle! And that's their whole nefarious scheme. It's only an hour till dawn. We have to stop the trio. Will you help me? Well, I'd sure like to get even with them for badmouthing me. Okay, I'm in. Yeah. It's time to teach the ghostly trio a lesson. I can't believe I was worried about letting them down all this time. Job one, get them out of the house. How about a good scare? Uh, nothing scares those three. Nothing except... Ladies, gentlemen, we've got us a plan. Next time I see you, I want you to be you. I need a right. <laughs> <laughs> the 
the boom be set for 20 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> the suckers are gonna show up pretty soon. Everything's ready to give those fleshies the biggest scare of all time. <laughs> Boys, if we're going out, we are going out in style. <laughs> <laughs> Did you guys hear something? Yeah, sounded like some evil space leader with a head cold. Must be the town. They're oily. Well, boys, let's give them a welcome. They won't soon forget. You three are planning to do anything to the town. Kabosh whistle, but me. Mr. Kabosh, sir, you are a big fat jerk. <laughs> Ooh, he's getting mad. We better cool him down. What is the meaning of this? Oh, we just want to get to have a good winter after that <laughs> nasty fall. What nasty fall? This one! <laughs> <laughs> Let that be a lesson to you. Uh, <clears throat> stretch? Not now, Stinky. I gotta teach these punks a little respect for their elders. Um, I don't think that was a puppet. Don't be a deadhead. <laughs> if it wasn't a puppet, that'd mean it must have been the real. 
Well, that uh, really ain't uh, necessary. Oh, I like to give till it hurts. Snivel, you were right to summon me. Wait, you've got it all wrong, Kibosh. You dare to correct me? I summoned you, so I could tell you that I scared someone. I scared, well, we scared the ghostly trio. <laughs> Harmless little you scared this group of hardened spooks. Snivel, is this true? Well, uh, pff, technically, yes. I guess Casper did scare the trio. They flew off crying like little babies. Oh, very well. The conditions of the punishment have been fulfilled. Snivel, reinstate the trio's haunting licenses. Yeah, but, 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 sir, it's only Casper who did a good job. Do we have to let the trio off the hook, too? You dare to question my orders? No, sir, your most high lowness. What the? A uh, Mr. Kabosh, sir. I think you'd better come have a look-see. It looks like someone's been ignoring your no scaring order, sir. <laughs> Eh, yeah, we would never scare anyone. Yeah, but we wouldn't even think about scaring anyone. We wouldn't? No! Oh, we wouldn't! Look here, your maliciousness! That's it. You defy me yet again. I think they wanted to go out with a bang, sir. And one final scare before being banished to... The dark. Out with a bang? No. Out with a whimper. No! No! You got it all wrong! What now? Uh, you see, uh, none of this is meant for uh, the, the fleshies. Uh, uh, come on! Well, this whole room is full of booby traps. But who, who are you gonna spring them on? Hmm? Um, <laughs> good question. <laughs> on ourselves. <laughs> yeah, ourselves. <laughs> because it's a Christmas present to you, Kabash. Um, I'm sure. Um, because we know how much you love um.
None of this was for doing any scaring. <laughs> no, sir, no scaring. <laughs> Not bad. <laughs> <laughs> Snivel, return their licenses. About time! Oh, I have missed you! This has got the greatest day of my afterlife! <laughs> Remember, Casper saved your miserable sheets. But rest assured, you haven't seen the last. Of Kabosh! Or Snibble, so you better. <laughs> What's going on down here? There's enough noise to wake the dead. I see you're entertaining more of your ghost actor friends. <gasps> nice costumes. One has even better special effects and such a powerful, eerie look. He'd be perfect as the ghost of Jacob Marley. Does anyone know how I can get in touch with him? No! Carol, honey, look at this. <sighs> the spirit of sharing. Oh, what a lovely surprise. And you didn't have to get us so many presents. Actually, they belong to everyone in Chris. The whole town will be showing up to get them soon. Oh, how nice. Oh, oh, we'll give everyone the best Christmas party ever. <laughs> I'm glad everyone in town is going to have a Merry Christmas. That's what's important, I guess. Has anyone seen Holly? Hi, Casper. Oh, hi, Holly. Sorry I lied to you. You just flew off without letting me talk. Sorry about that, too. Okay, you've made your apology, Quota. Once I knew our house guests were ghosts like you, I figured they'd be up to something. I was watching everything that went on, and I know how you saved my family's Christmas. Still, I'm sorry for... Enough! Thanks for the fish card. I know it's not much, but... Wow! It's really... Horribly mutilated? <laughs> totally. But that's okay. You already gave me the best present of all. A friend. You know, you're the only person I know who could say that and not sound corny. Um, is that...? Yep. Mistletoe. for us to exchange presents, too. <gasps> My doyby. Yeah? I searched all over until I found it in a trash can on the other side of town. I, I got nothing for you, Poyle. Sure you do. I got my old spooky back. I like you exactly for who you is. Let's go back to New York. Voiced class. Oh. <laughs> Whoa! Underneath Spooky's tough talk is a friendly side. Real friendly. Mm, I love you. We'll always be together, my sweet. Mom, Dad, I'd like you to meet my friend Casper. Any friend of Holly's is a friend of ours. Merry Christmas, Casper! I can't take all this joy. It's sickening. Although that could be the 12 fruitcakes I just ate. Come on, let's get out of here. Honey, it's getting a little stuffy in here. Oh, no problem. I'll just turn on the ceiling fan. Broken up. I've gone to pieces. I feel flaky. How beautiful. It's a white Christmas indoors. I love surprises. 
I love a happy ending. And I love a musical number. <gasps> Merry Christmas to all and a happy new year. Deck the halls with bows and holly. La 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 la. Tis the season to be jolly. La 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 la. Is that the end of the phone? Don't say what. I just couldn't understand you. I couldn't understand you. Is that the end of the phone? It's lunchtime. Lunchtime, my favorite time, my favorite time of day. Please check with. <laughs> oh, this is funny. This is funny, Dad. And you didn't have to give us so many presents. I'll give him oh, reverb. Nice. Oh my, give take it away. The best Christmas. <laughs> 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 Merry Christmas! It sounds really cool with the headphones. Ooh, you, you're fired. <laughs> He's got to laugh before you guys scream. Okay, laugh and then scream, people. Come on. No, sure, I got talent, but I'm just unpleasant. Through 417, please. I'll just give you a little ironic foreshadowing there. <laughs> I just want to be loved. Is that so wrong? Hello. What are you doing? <laughs> Spooky and Carol talking on the phone. Oh, hey, Spooky and Carol all alone. The calls are coming Spooky. from inside the house. The Spooky and Carol right. show. That's right. What are you doing? Oh, oh, that's disgusting God. sounding. I can't. I can't work with that. You have to. <laughs> You're, you're up That's there with right. your goil. Am I showing off a little yeah, bit? Hey, look, look what goil. I did for you, huh? That's right. Man. Nice view, eh, Poyle? <laughs> <laughs> Wait a second, you ain't Poyle! <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Bitch, bitch! And cut. Tis the season to be jolly. Fa la 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 la. 